Hey guys, good morning to you all. Happy Tuesday. So I am back on today to pray with you guys and also share a scripture uh, that the Lord gave me to read with you guys um, this morning. Feel free uh, to read along with me or in your free time, you can go back and read this scripture um, that I'm getting ready to read um, with you guys. Um, I, I'm super excited right now. I can't, I can't even explain uh what just happened moments ago uh like a wave of emotions came on me uh when i felt the lord's presence um i don't know like i was i was thinking about one thing and then it was just like the lord snapped his fingers like it just took all of one snap and I was right there in his presence and it, everything shifted. It was almost like nothing that I was thinking about even mattered. Oh, I feel you. Holy Spirit. Y'all forgive me today. If I get in my emotions in a good way. Okay. Um, y'all just look, I'm gonna let it go. How it's going to go because God is so good. God is so good. And I've never been one of those people to shy away from expressing my emotions or my love for God or even my love for other individuals. I've never been one to uh, be afraid to show those things because as I've always stated, th those things are part of who we are as people. And too many people are afraid um, to proclaim their love for God. They are afraid to uh, show a little bit of tear tears or to show anything. And I'm not, I'm not. And what I'm feeling right now, I'm really just trying to put it into words because I was like, God, really? Like I was just thinking about something and I guess he said, no, I don't want you to think on that. I want you to think on me. And he just like, and it just disappeared. Y'all forgive me. <laughs> Y'all forgive me today. I'm, I, I always say this and it's true. I'm going to always be in a state of wow when it comes to God. Because it simply amazes me the way that he is. How he is. Um, My experiences with God have been... Every moment is a wow moment in his presence. And when I'm with him, it's always wow for me. I'm always excited about what he does. I'm always talking about what he does. I'm always sharing about, you know, what he does, giving testimonies and things of that nature about how good he is because he truly is that good. He truly is that good, y'all. Oh, God. He is truly that good. Let me tell you. Let me tell you. He is better than anybody on walking this face of this earth. You know, and a lot of us, we put a lot of our uh, trust and love and people and other things and stuff like that. But the truth of the matter is there is nobody on this earth that is like God. And so if you have people in your life who, you know, who, what am I trying to say, God? If you have people in your life who have the light of God in them and the characteristics of Jesus Christ, that is an extension of God's love for you. That is an extension of his care for you. I'm talking about genuine people. I am not talking about, you know, I ain't even going to go there, but I'm talking about genuine people, you know, people who are really, truly for Christ. Like they're really, truly for him. Uh, all I know is he is just good. All I know is he's just good. I can't even... I almost can't even get into this reading or this reading this uh, scripture or even into this prayer because it's just like his love is just so amazing. 
His love is so amazing. His, um, the way that he pays attention to us and the way that he, you know, sometimes we may not even know what we need, but he knows. And the fact of the matter is he knows that we need him. He knows that we need him to, to have our peace. He knows that we need him to have happiness. He knows that we need him to have you know, to continue to keep moving forward in life. He knows this. He knows what we need. He knows what we stand in need of before we even ask. He knows our hearts. He knows what's in us. He knows what we're thinking. He knows what we feel. Everything. He knows the different obstacles and battles and fights and things and different things that the enemy is doing and he fights for us. He fights for us like nobody else. God's listen. God loves you. He really, he really truly loves you. He loves us. Um, and when it comes to certain ones of us, um, <laughs> when it comes to certain ones of us, it's nothing that God won't do for us. It's nothing he won't do for us. Um, I'm just so thankful to just be in his presence and to feel him right now. I don't know what to do. Uh, okay, let's go ahead and get into the scripture. So this is Psalms 145. And I'm reading from the Amplified Version, okay? And it reads, I will exalt you, my God, O King. And with gratitude and submissive wonder, I will bless your name forever and ever. Every day I will bless you and lovely praise you. Yes, with all inspired reverence, I will praise your name forever and ever. Great is the Lord and highly to be praised. In his greatness is so vast and profound as to be unsearchable, incomprehensible to man. One generation shall praise your works to another and shall declare your mighty and remarkable acts on the glorious splendor of your majesty and on your wonderful works. I will meditate. <laughs> Whew, Jesus, that's a, that's a good sentence all by itself right there. I got to read that one more time. That is uh, five verse five on the glorious splendor of your majesty and on your wonderful works, I will meditate. Mm, let me just keep going. People will speak of the power of your awesome acts. And with gratitude and submissive wonder, I will tell of your greatness, y'all feel God, over me. They will overflow like a fountain when they speak of your great and abundant goodness and will sing joyfully of your righteousness. The Lord is gracious and full of compassion, slow to anger and abounding in loving kindness. The Lord is good to all. His tender mercies are over all his works, the entirety of things created. All your works shall give thanks to you and praise you, O Lord, and your godly ones will bless you. They shall speak of the glory of your kingdom and talk of your power to make known to the sons of men your mighty acts and the glorious majesty of your kingdom. Your kingdom is an everlasting kingdom and your dominion endures throughout all generations. The Lord upholds all those of his own who fall and raises up those who are bowed down. Y'all look, let's read that one one more time. Verse 14, the Lord upholds all those of his own who fall. The Lord upholds you. The Lord upholds you. And what does he do? And he raises up all those who are bowed down. The eyes of all look to you in hopeful expectation and you give them their food in due time in due time he's going to give us our food you open your hand and satisfy the desire of every living thing 
The Lord is unwaveringly righteous in all his ways and gracious and kind in all his works. The Lord is near to all who call on him, to all who call on him in truth without guile. He will fulfill the desire of those who fear and worship him with all inspired reverence and obedience. He also will hear their cry and will save them. The Lord keeps all who love him, but all the wicked he will destroy. Did y'all hear that? Verse 20. The Lord keeps all who love him, but all the wicked he will destroy. My mouth will speak the praise of the Lord and all flesh will bless and gratefully praise his holy name forever and ever. All right, guys, that is the reading of the scripture this morning. Again, that was Psalms 145, and I was reading from the Amplified Version. Okay, let's go ahead and get into prayer. So, dear Heavenly Father, we just welcome you. Lord, have your way. Have your way in this time of prayer in the mighty name of Jesus. Glory be to God. Lord, we thank you for another opportunity to get together again to glorify your name, Lord God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lead us. Lead us, God. And it's in Jesus Christ's name we pray. Amen and amen. So, dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for this wonderful Tuesday morning, wherever we are in the world, Lord God. We thank you for waking us this morning. We thank you, Lord God, for watching over us as we slept through the night last night, keeping all harm from away from us, Lord God. Glory be to God. Thank you for protecting us, God. Hallelujah. Today, Lord God, we just declare blessings, blessings over our lives today. We declare blessings into this week, Lord God. Father, let nothing but blessings follow us this week, Lord God. Let nothing but good news follow us this week, Lord God. Lord, let the right doors open for us this week, Lord God. Glory be to God. Father, in the name of Jesus, we declare that we are walking by faith, Lord God. Father, in the name of Jesus, we declare that we are following in your footsteps, Lord God. Father, in the name of Jesus, we declare divine blessings, divine miracles, divine uh, a divine presence to fill your divine presence with us all day and all this week, Lord God. We declare, Lord God. A stronger bond with you, Lord God, we will have, Lord God. We declare, Lord God, that we will only listen to your voice, Lord God. And the enemy's voice we will not hear, Lord God. Glory be to God. We declare, Lord God, that no weapon formed against us this week will prosper, Lord God. Glory be to God. We declare right now, Lord God, that we are healthy, Lord God. We declare, Lord God, that we are whole, Lord God. We declare, Lord God, that we are fulfilled in our lives, Lord God. We declare, Lord God, we are obedient. We will be obedient to what you want for us to do this week, Lord God. Glory be to God. Hallelujah, God. Wherever we are today, Lord God, whether it be at work, whether it be at school, whether it be at home, whether it be in our vehicles, whatever we're doing, wherever we're traveling, Lord God, let your presence go with us in the mighty name of Jesus. Let your angels encamp around us and keep us safe, Lord God, from all forms of evil, Lord God. Lord, this week, we cancel all the plots and plans of the devil, Lord God. Glory be to God. In the mighty name of Jesus, Lord God. Lord, this week we declare that we will see freedom, Lord God, for those that we love, Lord God. We will see freedom and deliverance for those that we love in the mighty name of Jesus, Lord God. Glory be to God. Lord God, we declare that we are keeping our eyes and our focus on you, Lord God, in the mighty name of Jesus, Lord God. Father, let your righteous judgment fall upon all those who have come up against us, Lord God, who refuse, 
who absolutely refuse to repent and to walk away and leave us be, Lord God. Father, let your righteous judgment fall on these people in the mighty name of Jesus. Glory be to God. Father, in the name of Jesus, whatever belongs to us, Lord God, it is released. We declare it is released in the name of Jesus. Our blessings, our breakthroughs, our miracles, those things that you have spoken over our lives, concerning our lives, those things are released right now, Lord God, by fire. Release those things in the mighty name of Jesus. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Father, we love you on today. We love you on today, Lord God. We honor you and we praise you on today, God. Hallelujah, God. Hallelujah, God. Increase our discernment, Lord God. Hey, God. Increase our discernment, God. Hallelujah. Show us the traps that are being set so that we will be able to avoid those traps in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah, Lord God. Father, we are open for new opportunities. We are open for new experiences, Lord God. We are open for divine uh, friendships, Lord God. We are open for divine connections, Lord God. Lord, fill us up with more of you this week, Lord God. Fill us up with more of you, Lord God. Hallelujah, God. Glory be to God. Father, we honor you today. Oh, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Oh, God, thank you, Father. We honor you on today, God. Woo! Hallelujah. Oh, God, hallelujah, God. Strengthen us. Strengthen us in our minds. Strengthen us in our bodies. Strengthen us in our souls, God. Help us, God. Help us to become strong. Help us to continue to run this race, Lord God. With our eyes on you, knowing that our prize is you, Lord God. Our prize is you. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. <laughs> Glory be to God. Hallelujah, God. Hallelujah, Lord God. Father, we give all praise and glory to you on this Tuesday, God. Lord, we speak nothing but goodness over our lives. Nothing but goodness. Nothing but goodness, Lord God. We thank you, God. That those things that we are waiting on are now being released from heaven in the mighty name of Jesus. Glory be to God. Glory be to God that nothing can stand in our way any longer. Nothing can stand in our way any longer. But you are dealing with those who are your enemies. You are dealing with those that are our enemies. That are working against your divine plan, Lord God. Glory be to God. You are dealing with them in the mighty name of Jesus. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Father, we give you all praise right now, God. Mm. Oh, God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, watch over our children today. Watch over our grandchildren today. Watch over our great, great grandchildren today. Keep them safe, Lord God. Encourage them, Lord God. Show them hidden truths, Lord God. Keep them away from evil, Lord God. Hallelujah, Lord God. Watch over them as only you can watch over them. As only you can watch over them. Watch over them and watch their steps in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we bless you, Lord God. Let the blood of Jesus cover us from the crown of our heads to the soles of our feet. Saturate us with your presence and with your being, Lord God. Fall upon us in a mighty way, Lord God. Hey, God, give us that experience experience with you that we've never had hallelujah and for those of us who have experienced you throughout this life give us a more powerful experience with you lord god let us connect with you in a greater way hallelujah lord god lord we thank you for this time of prayer bless those who have listened to this prayer Hallelujah. Bless them and bless their families. Those that are truly seeking you. Those who truly love you. Those who are truly after your heart, Lord God. Bless those, Lord God. Glory be to God. 
Oh, Jesus, we give all praise and glory to you this morning, God. We thank you, Father. We thank you, Father, for bringing us together yet again for another time of prayer, God. We absolutely thank you. We take nothing for granted. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. This prayer is covered by the blood of Jesus. And it's in Jesus Christ's name we pray. Amen and amen. <sighs> Guys, I'm going to continue on. I'm going to continue in the Lord's presence and I'm going to let him have his full way. Um, I'm fitting to go hard in worship. I'm fitting to get so hard in worship to everybody on the block. Catch it. They all going to catch a whiff of the presence of God. Hallelujah. To all of my neighbors, all the people I work around until they get a, a whiff of God. Until what's on me, go ahead and jumps off on them and they become blessed. They become full of the uh, presence of God. Hallelujah. I'm not waiting to get nowhere to experience God. I'm going to experience God right where I am and I'm going to take him everywhere that I go. And that's how we all should be. We shouldn't be waiting on getting somewhere to experience God. We need to experience God and take him everywhere that we are so that others may be able to have and share in those same experiences. Okay, guys, whew, I'm gone for now. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you guys for following and sharing all of my messages and my videos and the things that I post even in my community. Uh, I really appreciate all of you guys and your support of even just listening to my messages, okay? I'm aware it's still some really offish people following me, but I pray you guys get delivered. I pray you guys, I really do. I pray you get delivered, you know, before it's too late. Um, because once it's too late to get that, you, you just simply can't get it. And none of us know the day or time of when God will call us home. So it's no better time than to change your life and to do right by people than it is today to start right now, this very moment. Okay, so I'm gone on that note, guys. You guys do be blessed and enjoy the rest of your day and the rest of your week and be safe. Okay, take care. Bye.